Hello and welcome to another recent reads, video, mash, review, whatever you want to call them. So I do this thing where I take three books where I recently read them. I try to pair them with the same genre at least when it comes to being adult books or YA books. My voice might go in and out because I'm sick but I am taking three adult books. They're all very different genres but they're all within the adult umbrella. They all fall under it. So anyway with these videos I'm going to tell you what the book is about, what I rated it, and what I thought about it without any spoilers. And if you're interested about one particular book I'm talking about today I leave the timestamps down below. So the books I, I'm talking about three very different genres today. First up is a historical romance, Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. Then a contemporary rom-com type of thing, Would Like to Meet by Rachel Winters. And a mystery thriller, You Are Not Alone by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen. So let's dive in. First up, we're gonna talk about Bringing Down the Duke. I read this because I've heard a lot of really good things about it. People said it was funny. They really enjoyed it, even though they didn't like historical fiction, which is me 100%, even though like my favorite book of all time is The Nightingale, which is historical fiction. I don't know what to say, but I've never really been in historical romance. I've never been one to like it, but I thought, why not 2020 be the year I really stepped outside of my comfort zone. So I read this and I really enjoyed it and I might have to read more historical romances. I liked it a lot. So this book takes place in England in 1879 and we follow a character named Annabelle Archer who's one of the first female students of Oxford. Her scholarship demands that she be a part of the women's suffrage movement because that is going on at that time. All about, all about equal rights for women and we had to really fight for that. Um, and basically she has to kind of like get really powerful and influential men to like be a part of the woman's suffrage to support it. And the Duke of uh, Montgomery who is the commander of Britain's politics. And Montgomery wouldn't be the kingdom's greatest strategist if he couldn't turn the tables and confront Annabelle with a different altogether offer. So that's what the book is about. We have Annabelle who is very smart going to Oxford. She's also part of the women's suffrage. Then we have this really kind of cold calculating brooding Duke of Montgomery that doesn't really like anybody. You know the typical like kind of brooding guy. And of course things happen. I really like this book. I gave it a four out of five. I would say if you're not big into historical romances this is a great one to read because it doesn't like there were a lot of times where I forgot that it was historical romance because it just read so modern day-ish but I mean it is historical. They talked about what they had to wear. Obviously the times were very very different um, altogether. The marriage was and if you couldn't marry someone of a different stature and things like that. But it was just very funny, very steamy I will say just in case you're not into like the whole adult times. Steer clear of this book. It definitely is a typical historical romance in that sense but I liked it and I thought it was funny and witty and I think she's going to make this a series. League of Extraordinary Women. So I think she's gonna have sequels and things like that and I plan to read it because I just loved it and I'm thinking about reading more historical romances because I kind of dig them. <laughs> They're just fun to read. It's all usually about a brooding man and a woman falling in love. This is definitely a hate to love romance which I am a sucker for a thousand percent. So I'd say again if you're not big in a historical romance you're just like uh, I would definitely try this book. I think it's a great book for testing out the lodge with historical romance and make you really fall in love with it like myself. So I'm very happy to have read it. Definitely one of my favorite like romances of the year so far. It was adorable. Next up speaking of adorable books we have Would Like to Meet by Rachel Winters. Like I said this is a adult contemporary rom-com chick lit whatever you want to call it. This book is all about a character named Evie who is an assistant to a big time film agent and they have a client named Ezra who is like the best screenwriter. Like he won an Oscar a while ago from his screenwriting and he basically signed a contract a while ago to write a rom-com and he hasn't been delivering on that. So basically Evie gets a job to like paired up with him to help him write this rom-com and, and he doesn't want to do it because he doesn't believe in romantic comedies. He doesn't believe in meat cutes in particular. He's like it's just really unreal. So she decides hey let's make a deal. You write this movie and I will like show you that rom-coms are real. I will fall in love with myself. I'll plan meat cutes for myself. I'll report them to you every week and maybe that'll help give you inspiration and you know I'll fall in love by this certain date to prove to you that romantic comedies are real if you write this script. So that's what the whole book is about is him you know writing this script and her trying to prove to him that rom-coms are real. I should also mention that she's a great character. I really liked her. She's very funny. She's witty, devoted to her job and he as the screenwriter is a douche. <laughs> Bottom line um, you know you think it's gonna be a hate to love romance. You think the romance is going one way but I liked how this book was all about rom-coms. It was all about meet cutes which by the way the word meet cute was in this book so much that I never want to hear or say 
or think of the word meet cute for another year because <laughs> I just was like I get it we get it um but I love the fact that this is kind of a book about rom-coms and you know it kind of follows the traditional sense of a rom-com but by the end it takes a completely different turn and it just does a 180 and I love that it did that so it wasn't a typical rom-com at the end and I loved how it kind of turned the rom-com on its heads and I liked it it was cute it was funny um I like that you thought you knew what the romance was gonna be but it wasn't I don't want to spoil it for you but I'd say if you love like rom-coms and meat cutes and chiclet all that kind of stuff I would recommend this book I liked it a lot I gave it a four out of five um like I said I think I was on the fence about giving it a five out of five but then I was just like they had meat cutes too many times there were so many um situations which is perfectly which is so so common in contemporary books and chiclet books where there's so many confrontations and so many unsaid feelings where I'm just like you can say what you feel you can get through these confrontations if you just are honest and it didn't happen so I was like oh, I can't give it a five out of five so four out of five I enjoyed it if you love chiclet and stuff would highly recommend checking this one out and the last book is my mystery thriller and that is you are not alone by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Peckin and this is their third book together and I read all three of them and I didn't love it but I didn't hate it so their first book that they wrote the wife between us is my favorite still by them I love that one I thought it was great then they had anonymous girl which came out last year I really did not like that one then they have this one I would say this one kind of falls right smack dab in the middle of it I gave it a three out of five I would say I feel confident with that this book is best I always say with mystery thrillers as well as a lot of other people probably everybody is best to go into not knowing anything this one in particular definitely is because even reading the jacket which I can read it to you you're still going to be confused the first half of it it's so mysterious it's so shrouded in mystery like it took me the first half to be like understanding where we're going with this what is exactly happening so all I can tell you it's about a woman named Shay and Shay is kind of you know a wallflower she doesn't get out much she wants to have this great life she wants to have amazing friends and a, a boyfriend and things like that and then we have these two characters the Moore sisters and they're really glamorous and beautiful and have everything and then the more sisters and Shay meet and basically Shay wants to like you know be embedded into their world and basically at the end it says Shay thinks she wants their life but what they really want is hers that's all I can tell you about it which I know is so minuscule like I'm giving you nothing but I enjoyed it I didn't love how it ended um but I did like the it had a couple plot twists that I did not see coming I think one it was building up to um the whole time but it was a very slow build up and when it finally got there I was very happy we could I think a lot of people could see it coming but I appreciated the way it was built up but like I said the first half of this you're just gonna be like where what is this mystery I don't understand it and then when it finally clicks all together it makes so much sense and I really enjoyed it even though <laughs> I did really enjoy it I just didn't love it as much as the wife between us so that's why I'm putting it at a three out of five and I feel confident about that but anyway those are my thoughts of these three books overall I enjoy them all for de each different reasons of course um, but would recommend them all for you know different genres if you're feeling cute and chick -litty, check this one out if you want an epic historical romance that's hilarious bringing down the Duke and if you want a very very mysterious like where's this going you are not alone <laughs> that'd be a good one to read as well so i'd love to hear your thoughts if you've read in these three and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>